Hey yo, what's up you guys? You know what time it is. We are on our way to Parker's house to work on the bug because it's been a minute. And I've tried to make like four videos of working on the bug. Just hasn't worked out. Got a Corvette right there. So naturally we're gonna take the Saturn because it's the daily and it's got the tools in it. We're gonna head over to Parker's house real quick. Um, hopefully work on the steering of the bug and I'll give you guys a little update and show you what I've done so far. Um, I have tried to make probably three, maybe four videos on the bug steering and the bug. Straight up can't. Every time I've tried, I've run into something terrible. Oh my gosh, there's a Saab 93 Viggen. I don't know if you saw that. My brother used to have one, they're awesome. So I've tried to make like uh, three or four videos on the bug. It hasn't worked out. I've gotten hours and hours of literally unusable footage. Well, I could use it, but it'd be extremely boring and we don't like that. We like to keep things entertaining so you guys watch our videos. So, in just a flash, we're gonna get to Parker's house. See you guys in just a minute. There she is. We're back at Parker's house. This is what I've gotten done on the steering so far. It's got steering, right? If you look at this angle, car's pretty much ready to drive. Um, so, if you look, I've got the uh, steering wheel in. I've got it set up as quick release, because if you look, it's a really tight gap between my legs and the steering. That's exactly where I wanted to keep it. Um, I know a lot of people are probably not gonna like it, but I like it. So, quick release steering wheel. Obviously, this is a stock one just with the bolt off, but I will uh, be buying a quick release hub. I have it in my shopping cart. So, I made a little support. It's pretty dang solid from here down to there. I'm going to do a second support up and probably a third support over. So, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Um, Yeah, so that's done. But now I've got a really difficult hard part, which I don't want to drill like 17 holes into my firewall. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to mark and decide and which side to drill from first so I can get the steering rod coming from the steering box pointed at below at or below the uh, steering rod on this side because I don't want it to come too high because it's not going to come up at this angle and then be able to U-joint down to that. It's gonna have to come from the bottom at least. That's been the hold up so far. We're so close to driving. Um, let me show you under the hood. I'll blabber a little bit more and then we'll get to the fun stuff. If we have any today, cause this is the fourth time I've tried to make this video. There's the Saturn looking like a treat. I'll make a video on that soon. I don't think I've actually like uh, formally introduced it to the channel, but supercharged Saturn Ion, pretty excited. So here's the steering box. Point to the firewall. I need to somehow measure and point and get just the right angles to drill a hole. So I'm gonna get things set up, try and make more of a plan in my head because I've been thinking about it for days. And uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, I don't want to say I'm a genius, but you know, I uh, may come up with an awesome plan. So my problem is I'm trying to measure from the steering box, which is right there to the firewall, you just saw my plan. Um, I'm trying to measure and mark on this firewall and I don't have a piece of rod I can cut that's the right length. I don't want to stick a tape measure over here. I want to get, basically I was thinking about putting a laser light right on the end of the rod and stuff. So here's what I came up with and I'm pretty excited. I've got a uh, magnet. You can see it's one of those extendable ones for, uh, let me just move this up here. One of those extendable ones for getting parts and tools that you drop. So I've got it sitting on the edge of my steering shaft. Shows me pretty much the angle that my U-joint's gonna be on. Right over with uh, how much room I actually don't really have with that motor mount, which I can trim it right here. I'm gonna probably have to. Trim it right here. Shows me how much room I have between my control arm. This is the pivot point, so it's not gonna come up and hit it. I'm good with that. And I've got it resting right here about where I want it. Thank you. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. But we're gonna drill a hole in the firewall right down here. That was way more difficult than it needed to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did okay. I hit the phone? I hit this. That scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, I think I only drilled through my frame like four times with it. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. So I bought a three pack because, you know, Harbor Freight. And I don't know where the other two went. And... <sighs> I think I heard the battery dying hard. Uh huh. Uh, hey, why is that the pressure I was putting, dude? That was intense. Great, now I got WD 40 all over my everything. Uh -huh. Holy crap! Stop, you're swearing my arm. Whining. <laughs> Let it eat. <laughs> On the right side, that one will probably work now. Cause I don't think- when you pay a little bit extra, well, a little bit, that's like a $60 bit. <laughs> wait, wait, is this the do it right on Jack Sands guy right now? Pretty much. This one's probably not door right there. It's probably never been used up there. Well, point of no return, you know? Careful what, my bullies? Hot! Ah, uh, shoe parts are right, but whatever. I mean, you can... You know, it's not fun to even well back over or something. The old scabby stab. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just a sec, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Like a glove. <laughs> yeah, I meant to do that and I measured it and I actually tried. That wasn't like pure luck. Heck yeah, so we're gonna figure out how to chop it and figure out how to measure it and hopefully get some steering kind of set in. I'm not gonna get tacked in tonight because it's a whole ordeal to get the welder out, but we're gonna get it set in, so. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. So you know how like, few seconds ago I was all like woo and proud and eyeballing who needs a tape measure yeah I had to drill another hole I don't know if you can even see that it's pretty dark these days but yeah I had to drill two holes because I got overconfident I got cocky I thought I had a perfect way to measure it I was like, yeah, I'm gay, I'm smart, ha ha ha, eyeball it. Wrong, I have to go two holes. My angle to the office is not gonna work, but we're good now. We got it set on. It's getting dark in here, boys, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but we got it set on right there. We got it through our second hole right there. And it's coming out underneath the steering rod right there, so. Unfortunately, I won't be able to video anymore tonight. It's getting late. And that's where we're gonna leave it. Um, I have a weekend trip planned to California and I'm leaving tomorrow after work. I gotta go home right now. So the bug's not getting anything done this weekend, but hopefully Monday when I get back, we will be uh, finishing up this steering. We're getting close and I know, I know, please be patient with me guys. Cause I'm getting a lot of people telling me they wanna see it done. You know, it's so close. They wanna see it driving. They wanna see me just just drive it, even though it doesn't have a floor in it. And trust me, I want to more, more than you guys want me to. I want to, it's been almost two years on this project, but we're trying and we're going as quick as we can. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking and hopefully liking and subscribing and commenting and tell me what I can do better with this video. I know it wasn't the most entertaining one, but I'm trying to make videos on gray matter. And uh, this is kind of typically what I go through working on this car is I think about it all week 
while I'm working and uh, I drive a truck a lot of the time so I got plenty of time to think. And I plan, and I go through my head and I get here and I find out that what I tried in my head wouldn't work because physically it doesn't work. So then I redesign, I replan, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it this way. And I get it all ready and I triple check it and I check it and I do it and it just doesn't work. So not fun. It's usually boring when I work on this car, but uh, it's gonna be really fun when I'm not working on it anymore and I'm doing burnouts. So thank you guys. Stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.